from this image what you can understand initially i asked you what is the programming language is used to develop erp applications whatever the applications that we are talking about are developed with the help of which languages which programming languages abap programming language or java programming language okay so this is basic functionality this is as abap and this is as java entire background color is there no that color this this color one second from here to here the light blue color is there no this is entirely denotes wherever you see any documentation most of the time they will use the same color okay light blue color and if it is java program they will use this kind of color okay so little darker yellow or some whatever color just see seeing this only you will understand that this is as java as java system okay or you can call this as whatever the applications are there in this system or server or developed with the help of as java programming language java programming language actually i will tell you about what is as what is the meaning this server is actually as java system this entire server is called as java system and what is the server name enterprise portal enterprise portal is an application means bunch of applications will be there i am calling it as single application but there will be so many applications inside this system so entire system entire applications are there in this system are developed with the help of java programming language that's why this is called as java system so what is the meaning of as can anybody guess already i told many times what is as just now i spoke about that what is as can can anybody tell the abbreviation of as you can google it out and tell me what is as in no 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 what is as in as java you just type in google what is the answer that you are getting yeah exactly application server why it is called application server because it serve applications it provides applications that's why it is called application server what are all the servers are available in our daily day to day use like for suppose uh, uh, you you tell me some of the servers you heard like uh, in your day to day life what are all the servers i will write down yeah web server what is the purpose of web server what it uh, yeah web server provides what web server provides web services what it provides it provides provides means what it gives uh, access to the users if you are browsing some website you will get the information from the web server that's why that particular server is called web server web, web is web server is a physical server somewhere located in the internet is it is it a physical server somewhere available when we are calling something as server means what is the meaning of exact meaning of the server somewhere the server physically located we cannot see that server with our eyes that's it but server is there isn't it even if it is in cloud also in cloud computing also we will definitely will have physical environment physical data centers will be there without physical data center will not get any thing from the cloud environment we cannot build any kind of systems there am i right so web servers provide web services any other servers any any other examples database server what is the purpose of database server yeah provides access to data to whom to users whoever over request whoever request the data 
the database server will provide the data to the users okay that is database server any other server the, uh, do you people go to railway reservation center to book your uh, train ticket or uh, flight tickets online flight tickets anything else like that do you have any idea about it you did you ever uh, uh, face a problem of server down when you is it the counter they will tell server down what is the meaning of it okay front end terminal he wants to access some server then only he can book the ticket for you isn't it if the server is down he cannot he, he cannot book the ticket for you isn't it so in that sense what is what it serves means railway reservation server whatever server whatever the data is there in that server no that is one name will be there for that particular server that is one example i am giving you so ticketing server or whatever ticketing server and for suppose you have huge list of files in your organization you want to access you want to give access to that uh, uh, files to different people then that server call is called uh, that server is called as file server and uh, in your organization there are uh, more than um, 20 to 25 like like 100 printers are there for suppose 100 printers are there in your organization and something around 5000 uh, desktop computers are there like 5000 desks desks are there each desk consisting of uh, some desktop computer or laptop so then these 5000 users 5000 uh, desktop computers would like to use that 100 printers then what will be what should be there print server okay print server okay any other things like same example 5000 desktops are there 5000 desktops are there 100 servers are there okay and entire these things are connected in network okay network then how these desktops and 100 servers will be able to communicate with the help of what No, with the help of uh, some addressing should be there no ip addressing should be there no okay who will provide that ip addresses to these servers means which server will provide ip addresses to these servers servers and desktops each desktop and each uh, domain yeah dns system is to provide the mapping between ip address to uh, ip address to host name that i will talk about a little later now I will talk about DHCS. What is the it is the abbreviation of DHCS? DHCP, yeah, DHCP. Sorry, DHCP server. DHCP server means what? Dynamic host control protocol server. It will it will provide IP addresses to other clients. It will provide only IP addresses. You don't need to IP, set the IP address uh, to each and every desktop computer. Once you configure the DHCP server, in that if you provide the pool of IP addresses, each and every client will get the IP address from the servers. That is called DHCP server. And DNS server, what you have told about it, is host name to IP address mapping. Host name to IP address. In your Windows administration course, you, you should, they should uh, teach all these things. I think uh, maybe you have attended that course or not, I don't know. But these things are will come under this system administration windows administration or linux administration you will get all these terminologies so you understood about what is server no now now i will talk about as as means what applications it provides applications that's why it is called application server okay it's simple you you, you don't forget about it what is as means application server what applications whatever the applications that we put in that all those applications will be served to the clients who have a request okay so that is the meaning of application server 